Hi guys, welcome to part 3 of my 2023 Christmas Village full tutorial series. Math and the geometry never lies. So I already know that if I leave the coastline in this position, I will never have enough space for the rest of the village, the other levels. I must, and it is imperative, rotate the coastline in this way, towards you guys, toward the front border there. And I will do so in the next many hours. Should I start crying? No, I've already cried too much during past season and today is too, too hot. So if I start crying, the tears will instantly evaporate on my cheeks, guys. Sorry, I'm, as always, so dumb. But today I'm also still euphoric, guys. Yesterday, July 14, was the most important French national holiday. And you know that I'm half French, so I'm still partying because yesterday was la prise de la Bastille, July 14, 1789, the French Revolution. You who guys, very important for Europe, as you may know. Not that good for French king and French queen. <laughs> Sorry guys, told you, I'm still parting. But Let's concentrate, let's have a thought on my coastline, on my Christmas village. It is too naked, not the village in itself, the coastline. Like that it is too naked and I've already stated that. I miss some uh, green, something else, uh, some addition, the two sand beaches as I told you and something more. So it is time to start a new technique because I will add, yes, some trees, some uh, leaves here and there, but also some grass. And I will use a new technique. We all know that, we all know that around rocks and here and there, especially on top of some cliffs, you have vegetation, grass, etc. Because it's like that. And this is... I don't like it right now. Yes, I like it, but not that much. I must add something. And two things I've modeled during the past three days. One of them is still printing, so maybe... Maybe late, late I will show you what I was printing. And a new building, because... A new building. I must show you also a new building. Buildings are the main problems here. With all the new buildings I have uh, bring to and I will bring to the uh, village and the landmarks, all the buildings, I am already lacking space. And the parks, because I haven't told you about the parks, but I will also have some parks. So, like now, like now I'm I urge to start doing something. So let's start do something. I want some green, some leaf, some branches, but especially some grass all along my coastline. So a new technique. I will be using a wire cutter, a pair of scissors, some super glue, but especially some rope, two kind of rope, one and two, having different diameters. This one has a bigger diameter, okay? But most important, this is natural rope, not uh, synthetic or nylon rope. This is hemp rope, H-E-M-P, hemp rope, made from natural fiber, okay? It is very important because it will, it will not work with uh, nylon or synthetic rope. And I will be using a technique that involves uh, 
making this into some grass. But I will also need some acrylic paint, acrylic colors, because I will then need to paint what I will be doing in different colors. Let's start, guys. Let's have this big rope here and let's cut, uh, let's say, this piece here. Okay. Now, before anything, doing anything, we must secure this little piece of rope, each fiber together, otherwise it will be a mess. So I'm using some super glue and on one end, just on one end, I will add some super glue very quickly. Like that. Then I will wait for the reaction. It will take some seconds, at least 30 seconds, because I need this to get cured. I need to the super glue to get cured. I will be aware of it because from the rope, it will come out some sort of a little bit of a smoke, but it is not a smoke, it's simply the reaction between the fiber and the rest of the glue, okay? It will take 30 seconds. I know, I can use my fingers to verify if the super glue has already cured, but that would mean uh, getting my finger uh, glued to the rope, okay? But it's simply, I hope I can show, now it's starting, I don't know if you can see, but there is a little fume, I hope you can see, you can see that right now, there is a little reaction, a chemical reaction, and you can see some sort of a smoke, it's not really smoke, but you can see the reaction has already taken place and right now no more problem touching okay because now it is very hard and i know that the reaction is good okay 30 seconds no more then i will start to undo the rope like that And I've used a so long piece of rope because I don't know what I will be doing with it. If I'm going to do simply a short, uh, short grass or a long grass, I still don't know. But what I'm doing here is I'm unroping the rope. Sorry, guys. Okay, in this way, it is a little messy. I know you will lose some of the fiber of the hemp there. You will lose it, but it has an enough good result. It is very regular because grass is irregular like that. And then what I've glued there will help me secure it into the styrofoam because I simply need to go a little this way maybe a little bigger okay and this will get through like that okay and then i will have some grass or something like that a little bush like that that once painted it will bring new uh, new life to my coastline and whatever you want. Maybe I shouldn't have gone this way 
maybe a more towards the center like that okay and like that the big the diameter is the more fiber you have the big the diameter is the bigger it is the more fiber you have so this is very rich in fibers in hemp so you can get a very 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 uh, big uh, piece of uh, of grass or of a bush or anything like that but the same rope if you go differently shorter it is quicker if you get shorter let's say like that and then super glue so those are toxic fumes so don't don't be too close to those fumes okay done and this is quicker with a small piece of rope like that like that then you can shape it whatever you want okay higher taller shorter whatever you want you can leave them as this without painting them, but you can also paint them. And this time it has been quicker. You get a different type of uh, grass there, okay? Because it is more dense in this way. You don't lose this much of fiber. This is more rare, okay? And this is more dense of uh, uh, fiber like that. the shorter the dense okay right now it is nothing but uh, you need to see uh, you need to place it beside uh, some uh, some other things some rocks some trees etc but this is another way of doing it let's see what uh, it is uh, with those this other type of rope same thing i will cut uh, these longer because i can do some long piece of uh, uh, of uh, vegetation like that okay And with the shortest one, you will get something like that. Let me maybe approach the camera like that. Okay. And you can see the different types. So these, those two pieces are from the bigger rope, this one and this one. This is cut very long, this is cut very short and also from 
the side like that, okay? Very different type of shape you can get. You can uh, shape them as whatever you want. Good. Let's... Here I have four different shades of green, guys. One, two, three, and four. From brilliant and more uh, shiny to some dark green, some olive green, some other type of green, okay? Just remember that the green is one of those colors, especially if you use acrylic colors, acrylic paints, that is not 100% opaque, that is and still remain transparent. Yes, transparent. Whatever you paint with the green, you will see it through. That's why when I'm using green on my figurines and on my buildings, etc., I always do three to four layers of green. Or if you want to get it less transparent and more opaque, never get 100% opaque, you will add some white. It will change the colors because green, blues, white added with white, change colors, but you can manage to have them. If you add white, especially titanium white colors, it will reduce the transparency of your uh, acrylic colors. That's what I've done with my buildings, especially the red and the yellow and red, yellow and the green, okay? The other colors weren't transparent, so I had no problem. Let's get some colors on these little guys here. I need some paper. Okay, dry enough. Let's go with some other color. Maybe I will go with this one here. that with the last one okay now let's try to reshape a little more everything Okay, and you will stop whenever you judge that it is good for you uh, and this is very regular. The paint maybe help getting a little stiffer the rope, so more shapeable, okay, the rope and everything else like that from the side. It's no more a rope, they are some, there is some grass, there is some bu little bushes like that, okay and you can add it wherever you want. Those are big, maybe you want something smaller, you can get also something smaller. But it is important to know that the main work will be done on the coastline where I will need maybe to trim everything a little more, but you can do it in the final step to trim once you have placed it where you want it to be placed. I will do much more of them then switch to something else. Now, you know for a fact, because I've stated it many times, that I am obsessed with stairs. Check. You also know from part two, from last part, that I have intention to add two sand beaches to my coastline. Also check. Now, one of the sand beaches 
will help me grant access from the ocean, from the sea, to the beach, obviously, to the cliff, to the next level. Okay, in which way? With some stairs? Yes, with some stairs. One little problem. Until last season, I've always had 12 centimeters between one level and the next level. And all my stairs are almost all so, so modern, okay? But this season, the first level is just 8 centimeters from the sea, from the sand beach. So I had to model something, obviously, because the stairs are very long to do if I want to do them just with styrofoam. I didn't want to have some too modern stairs because here I have a ancient modern Viking fishing village. So why not having a stone stairs, an old stairs, maybe carved in the cliff, maybe, maybe made with some hard, long, curved stairs stones or maybe with some uh, sculpted stones okay that let's go with that so two days ago I had to model something I spent three hours on my uh, 3d uh, software modeling software and I come up with this little guy here it is still to be it has still to be cleaned because it has a support. It comes out the stairs comes out from the filament 3D printer because this is too massive, is larger, is larger than my uh, resin printer bed, and generally it is larger than any common use at uh, resin printer bed so these was only suited for the filament 3d printer less details because you can't achieve 8k resolution with 0.2 millimeters uh, levels this is printed levels after levels 0.2 millimeters, then 0.2 millimeters, then 0.2 millimeters, up to these 10, millimeter, 10, 10 centimeters, I believe. And it is modeled having something carved into the stone, okay? The stairs here getting rounded on the front and then also a little curved toward this, this direction here, like that but with some support and everything else. And this will be added to the far left sand beach to come, obviously, because it is not yet there. Still need to be painted. And first of all, I need to clean it because I have too many supports there. Too many supports there. Maybe I also will need to uh, to cut some other parts because uh, it happens with a filament 3D printer that uh, you have a misprinted part etc or in like this case because I went very quickly with this uh, printer here and it is not I repeat it is not the fastest printer in the world uh, because I needed to start from somewhere when I started 3D printer and that was the common printer for beginners. I need to find a solution for that. So let's remove some of the support. Supports for a filament printer generated by FDM printer, by filament printer, are so much hard to uh, to eliminate then uh, supports with uh, resin PLA printers. So let's have this cleaned because right now I have some incongruity. OK, 
okay? And then I will show you the final result. Let's go with some acceleration, I think, because I will do some, uh, some noise, okay, guys? This is all the amount of support needed for this model here. The support are needed for the inside part. I could have modeled this in a plane, okay? Filled everything inside and then sculpted it outside, but it is a waste of filament. Using some support like those one, you don't use uh, the totality of the uh, filament so you don't waste that much of uh, filament because this is something hide it. and i wanted an effect and maybe i can show you that uh, i'm always so messy that you have some space between the steps of the stair as these these was handmade okay and that's what I wanted. Having something complete filled with a filament uh, behind it, uh, it would have prevent some light to get through and have the impression that this is good, but man-made, okay, Viking-made. And so here, the back here is not completely flat. You can see that you have some inclination as a support. So I will most probably need to modify a little the cove where I want it to be placed in the cove, in the sand beach cove, okay? And this is how difficult it is to clean an object, a 3D object, printed with a filament 3D printer. Let's see how easier it is to clean something that comes out from a PLA, from a resin 3D printer. Okay guys, voila! This is a 3D object that has just come out of a PLA printer, of a resin 3D printer. It is still a little wet because each time you finish printing something, you need to clean it to remove all residual of resin. Uh, but I'm using some resin, a brand of resin that is water washable. So I can wash it in a batch of water and soap instead of a batch of IPA, isopropylic alcohol, much more expensive. So I can clean these without no expense at all. And this is a tree guys let me just remove the support and you will see how easy it is to remove support from an object that has just been printed with a not not with a filament 3d printer but with a resin printer okay guys like that this is some waste, as this is some waste. You waste filament or resin in both, in both cases, but this is way more, way more, way more detailed and quickly print. This took 28 hours to print. This took 13 hours to print. This is a tree that will be added uh, along my coastline. Still need to be finished. Two more elements, some canopy, some leaf on top of it. But one of the canopy is printing right now. The other one will be printed in the night. So I will, I will probably show you the result Tomorrow, still need to remove some of the supports that was in contact with the, with the, the tree there. 
but very, very, very quickly removed. Just some seconds in this case, a little more for some figurines which are so small that need more attention. And once I've cleaned this, I should cure the resin once one more time using some UV lamp. Okay, so this is done, already removed everything. And let me show you closer to the camera the details. The details here, guys, and you will see them also in the final recap. But guys, this is 8K 3D printer, PLA 3D printer. This comes out from an 8K. This is a standard FDM printer, filament printer with a layer of 0.2 millimeters. This has a layer of 0.035 millimeter. And this is an 8K printer, 3D printer. Not my, my first uh, um, uh, resin printer you have seen me using, the green one, but this is a new uh, resin printer. The other one was 2K uh, 3D printer, resin 3D printer. This one is 8K and the details are in... Oops! Sorry, almost made a big, 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 big mess, but you can see how detailed this be. This is a tree, obviously, with some very particular um, uh, form there, and that stands on top of some rocks, because I already had some rocks on my, on my uh, coastline. This is still, this need still to be uh, cured and then added the canopies, the leaves, etc. And I will show you the result. These are two ways of 3D printing today. Resin and filament. The, the filament printer will use always it for big objects. I know you are saying they are, the, the, the tree is almost bigger and it is bigger than the stairs. Yes, but I'm talking about the width. This is printed like that. So the tree is narrower than the stairs there. This was too wide to be printed with the resin printer. It, it will have uh, went outside of the bed. This no. This is taller, yes but it is narrower than the stairs. So, and I just remember you that this is printed like it is with the printer getting one layer of another and the extruder getting higher and higher. This is printed upside down with the bed getting from this level here up, 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 up. So the first layer is this one here. The first layer is this one then any other levels go on top of it. This is the first layer, then the rest get printed once while the bed is getting far away from the batch of resin. Two different way of 3D printing this much more quick simply because each layer is printed in a single piece. Tsoof, tsoof, like a slice the slice, okay? This one, each and single one, first it goes with the perimeter, then it draws lines inside, then fill in the perimeters with filament. That's why this took more than a day to print. This took 13 hours. You will see the complete tree in my final recap. I hope
final recap of part 3 of this 2023 series. I will show you right now what I obtained from this long, long day. The coastline with everything I added, but you have already seen me working from the top there, up there. But this is from a closer view the coastline with all the <coughs> green with all the grass with all the branches by the way the sand beach still needed to dry a little more those were some good addition i just bought them on amazon they are from a chinese <laughs> what a surprise a company and they are used for train modeling tra uh, train scale modeling but it's it's well suited also for my christmas village and then the tree guys okay i ended up placing it right there because from this point of view here it is a very good point of view and the tree there is some sort of relief from a long <clears throat> the long work journey of the lighthouse keeper and then it is a good point of view for the rest of the uh, of the village that will be added beyond that and then the other uh, sand beach there with the <coughs> with the stairs I try to integrate the stairs in the coastline using some of my ceramic powder mixed with water then I uh, painted it with was what was left from the uh, batch of colors I prepared for the stairs and it is dark gray light gray some maroon light maroon then white and then this is the result of the stair and this beach too sand beach there maybe no it's still wet yes it is still wet there but i managed to add some more vegetation here and there in the corner there and this is the effect you can get from mm, a rope guys this initially was the rope and I had uh, the two uh, bushes, little bushes like that in there. Uh, maybe I will add uh, some more vegetation here and there. Uh, I still have uh, four of them left, but right now I don't know what will be present here all along the uh, next level, okay? So I don't know guys, I don't know. So I will uh, keep doing the rest then maybe adding some more vegetation here and there greta is still there hi greta dealing with a little mouse also here the big uh, bush there and some other vegetation here and there um, maybe too empty the sand beach yes but <laughs> it still need some rowing boat or some life some life even the cove there maybe i will add something like if this was uh, a little swimming pool for the lighthouse keeper uh, strange ideas keeping uh, coming out com coming into my mind here guys what this is strange this is not the building this is the support for the new building octagon one two three four five six seven eight so if i have five of those buildings purple blue yellow white green and red i also have four octagons octagonal i don't know right now buildings that are strange that St start with an octagon as a base then go very strange up maybe i will try to put the camera in this position here okay and sorry 
a little too shaky my hand right now and I will add the first octagon building and it is sorry guys I don't want to okay this is the back this is the front okay like that guys okay on top of the octagon let me take the camera once again so those buildings there have an octagon as base then the octagon transforming something more rounded as a roof the color here is the same as the color in there almost and this is the yellow building i also have a square at the yellow building but it will come next week i think i already managed to add the the light inside two lights one for the first level and one for the second level there and uh, this building is particular because it has one entry from this side and another entry from this side that's why i use it this platform here this base here by the way with some vikings uh, shields there okay and this is some rocks that will be submerged by water so here we go the ocean so the base is immerged in the ocean and then the building is stated is like having those as uh, far away post observation post maybe I will go with one of the, them right there I was saying with this modular uh, support there I can modify it whenever I want so right now I will add some more buildings there and there but I wanted to show you another type of building so my fishing village will be composed by squared rectangular buildings and octagonal buildings rounded buildings by the way those are fishes guys also those are fish okay it's a fishing village uh, Viking fishing village so those are small fishes those are bigger fish okay and here are two fish uh, the same uh, painting technique with uh, some brown as a base then some uh, yellow dry brush up there I wanted this impression of uh, old painting almost as this was ancient damaged by sea weather but still there the color and this is the effect from the distance so let me show you from the distance so wherever you want okay this is from the distance and the point of view from the downside here with the new building is that okay so with the new building place it like that you can see <coughs> everything i like this point of view <coughs> when i'm planning everything i always have a particular attention to the point of view because the camera there will go right there once the village will be finished and this is a good point of view i think okay uh painted so gray for the stone for the tree then two shades of brown for um the the wood there then some white and the leaves two uh, different uh green first one is dark green then light green then some sienna brown because it is supposed to be uh fall or late fall so by pure chances these three are still all his leaf on top of him but with some snow accumulating already accumulating here and there okay guys and then some vegetation around like that i've added maybe i will add some more vegetation i don't know right now details are for a later time and well <laughs> the last one there and i still have some space for the giant fairy wheel that will be there 
on top of I don't know right now yes still very wet I think two or three days to get a perfect dry sand beach see you in some seconds for the outro guys yes four bushes left but don't worry I will manage to get them somewhere in the next weeks I forgot to mention during the final recap that I've also rotated the coastline but you have seen me doing it and now off camera I also added some more styrofoam strange form for this styrofoam there for, from, for the white uh, pieces there but I needed this space now it is interesting I can have some interesting things happening in this on this second level then my standard 12 centimeter uh, styrofoam level there to get me focused on what will be next okay still don't know precisely but I'm fantasizing on that and then some more spaces in the back for other levels still need to add many many things the two sand beaches are there guys yes it has been a long day to do such things uh, many more buildings to add many more um, villagers yes plenty of villagers rowing boats uh, sailing boats <laughs> so many things to add and then the stairs and the tree there guys i had to model them simply because the stairs there yes i could have done it with styrofoam but three maybe four days of work instead of one day of work one day and a half of work and the tree there 13 for the down pieces then the canopies etc let's say a day to print that tree and eight hours between six and eight hours to model it but guys both the tree and the stairs where i would have found them on the market nowhere nowhere that's why i repeat i know i'm boring but 3d printers are very useful for village buildings okay building 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 and 3d printing 3d printing 3d printing from the, the other angle guys uh, you have seen me using this camera here a lot because all these have been made with you watching from up there guys here the sand beaches with the stairs here still need to dry yes it's starting to dry but uh, it will take at least two more days to dry and everything I still don't know where to put this rock maybe I will throw it uh, on someone's head because I don't like it right now uh, maybe it, it was just a waste of powder, of ceramic powder. And the new type of building, guys. The octagon with some rounded roof there and the base there. The octagon base, like that. Viking octagon base. I think they can bring so much more to the village simply because they are different from the square and they are different from any other kind of Lemax building guys it took me two, two times the hours to try to model this octagon building rephrase please sorry I'm a little tired it took me double the time to imagine and model the octagon building than the squared one simply because it is a strange way of modeling but I also have a patio model like that imagine having here a patio in plain middle of the ocean with some band performing there good and this also is a patio guys the, down, the downside here it is a patio but an elevated patio and this building here have doors the real patio have no doors at all you will see it in some days it's all guys um, maybe it's not that much for you guys but for me it has been a very long day especially because the hot 
this year is so intense that I'm constantly, constantly in a bath. <laughs> in a bath, I'm sweating. Uh, let's forget about that. I really need to have a shower and drink and eat something right now. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my once again awful English mixed with some euphoric French parting. <laughs> See you next time. Only if you wish, guys. <laughs>